Welcome back to the Fort Walton Beach Business Forum. Again, I'm Bill Roberts, 2017 Chair of the Greater Fort Walton Beach Chamber of Commerce. Uh, with me now is Patricia Pat Payne, <laughs> who like I, I like to call our extraordinary volunteer. And when you meet Pat or see Pat at any event, she's going to have that smile on her face. <laughs> Pat is a, a board member now, a board of directors with the Fort Walton Beach Chamber. And Pat, thanks for being here. You're so welcome. I'm glad to and an honor, honor to be here. Well, thank you. Let's talk a little bit about your history, how you landed in Fort Walton Beach, and just something about yourself. Well, I'll tell you a little bit about myself, how I landed here in Fort Walton Beach. Um, in 2003, unfortunately, we lost um, our sister, my sister, and um, she and I were so very close. We were almost like mother and daughter. And New York became very unfriendly at that particular time because we did so much together. We really did. And um, she was my pessimist and I was her optimist. <laughs> True optimist. Uh, yes. And so I decided to come down to my brother who was um, a civil service ETS out of Eglin. And um, I just told him I just need to look around and just relax. I did. I woke up and I said, guess what? Find me a realtor. We're going to move down. He said, are you kidding? I said, yes, I am. We're going to bring our mother and our other sister. And I said, and I think we can do it. He almost had a fit. I'm glad he didn't have a fit because we're happy to have him. Yes, <laughs> and so that's how I ended up here in Fort Walton Beach. And you became involved in the chamber, uh, very involved in our chamber, but something had to pique your interest about the chamber, and what was that? I have always been a very cha a chamber person um, in New York. I've always been a chamber person. And um, so Carol Stearns, yeah. I had asked her, would she do some work in the house for me, try to keep my old furniture, but restore it to make it look like this area down here as opposed to the north. And so she said, you need to join the chamber. I didn't let her know I was a chamber advocate. I just said, OK, sounds good to me. <laughs> And so she said, you'll be a great ambassador. I said, wow. Well, <laughs> you, you, you're a great ambassador in anything you do. But uh, uh, like I said, a board of director now on the board. Uh, you've actually chaired a committee. And you actually founded and chaired another committee for three years. Can you talk about both those committees that you've been involved with? I tell you one thing. I When I came down, like I said, and started attending the um, chamber events. I kind of felt a little bit out of place. I said, hmm, I'm from New York. I don't see too much like I want to see, like I don't see what's happening. And so I kind of kept on going to the events and whatever. And then I, I didn't see too much diversity. So I talk, spoke to Ted and I said, Ted, we need to have like a cultural awareness committee. He said, we do? I said, yes, we do. He said, oh, that's good. That's fine. OK. And I said, um, I don't have to lead it. I can help you with it. Matter of fact, I'll be your liaison to the committee, whomever you get to want to try it. And so what he did was he said, OK. And he put two people in there in the beginning. It didn't fizz out because it was a conflict with other things that was happening. I didn't say nothing. I kept looking, and then. <laughs> but you wanted to, I right? I wanted to, and then he put two more people um, to carry it out, and one other person, and it didn't work out. I said, "I'm taking it over." Yes, I'm taking it over. I can fix it. I can get it together. And what I did was, I organized almost like a business a mission statement, whole bit. I even put officers in place. They volunteered, and we got it to run in. And you chaired it for three and years. We, no, none of the board of directors, chair people, wanted to get me to leave. <laughs> Lisa Joe, and, uh, what's his name from um, L.A.? LA. All of them, yes. They wanted me to keep it going. I said, okay, <laughs> I'll keep Chad Hamilton. I said, okay, I'll do it. And it's so important. It was one of the most important things that we could have had. Absolutely. And I'm hoping that we could restore it again. Yeah. I really yeah. do. And I'm so willing to work with that. Yeah. 
Well, you and I talked about that yes, earlier on, and, and we them. will. Uh, another <coughs> committee, uh, 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 another committee you see everywhere, the ambassadors. You chaired the that. The ambassador, I chaired the ambassadors. It was unbelievable, it really was, because we, we are the front teeth um, of the chamber. And I say the front teeth because I always think about the, the World Trade Center towers that went down, and, and we said we lost our two front teeth in New York when those world trades went down. And I think we are, and, and I looked at some of the past chairperson people, and they did a fantastic job. And I said, oh yeah, I can follow that, I can do this, I certainly can. And I took it, and, and I tell, I'm telling you, it is absolutely, I applied some of my military skills right into the civilians and said, I'm not gonna ask you to do anything that I know I cannot do myself. And that's how I chaired that um, ambassador's committee. And it continues today. Yes. I mean, when you look at all those folks with the green jackets and they're here and they're there and they're so enthused about what they're doing. I mean, it's, uh, <coughs> if you want to get involved in the chamber, you know, Being if you want to meet a lot of folks and, and one of our goals is to give value to our members, get involved, do something like the ambassadors or, ambassador. you know, just anything. The chamber mm -hmm. offers so much to our members to, to have a chance to get involved and meet people and network, but uh, both those committees are, are, are great. They certainly are, and there's one other committee that I don't think any, um, we don't advertise it too much, but we definitely do it, and that's the Sunshine Committee. Yeah. I am the Sunshine Committee Chair for the Chamber. Anything that happens, I get the word, you will be hearing from me through E card, <laughs> you will be hearing from me, and that is, I've gotten so many people come up to me and say, you don't know what it meant for me to have received the card, because this happened or that happened. Thank you. So that's what um, I just took upon myself to do it, and I said, yeah, I'm on, I'm the Sunshine Committee, I can do that. <laughs> so that's an excellent committee, yeah. A lot of other activities in the chamber, uh, bow legs, Mardi Gras, you want to talk about things you volunteer mm, for? And, love it. You know? Love it. I volunteer for so much until I give you a little laugh when I went to have my income tax done on Saturday. And I, I was not enthusiastic this time for some reason. And my accountant said, you didn't do too much last year. I said, did triple. He says, well, I don't see it. I said, you don't? I said, let me go back to the house and let me find it. And then when I called him back last <laughs> evening and gave him the figures, he said, this is more like it. <laughs> but I do a lot of volunteer. I, I volunteer at Eglin Air Force Base and up under the Family Readiness Support Group in the Long Closet. Striving for Perfections Church. Yes. Uh, Oklahoma Branch in AACP. Right. Covenant Hospi Hospice. Yeah. Uh, Many committees at your church, Shalimar right. United Methodist Church, just uh, a can-do lady. Uh, Army background in this Air Force town, retired <laughs> out of the Army. Oh, uh, yeah, thank God. <laughs> but, uh, but I tell you what, we're, we're so appreciative of what you, you do at the chamber, what you do in our community, and, and I'm honored that you were on our show today. Well, I appreciate it. I am very honored to be, I have asked and to be a part of the um, Board of Directors, I feel that it's something that should be done, and I'm intending to work and do the best that I can. Thank you, and we'll be back shortly.